Hay making is a big thing on some farms, or at least it used to be. Making hay was the only way to create fodder for the cattle. If the haymaking failed, the farmer would either have to buy hay for the winter or sell the cattle and sack the workers possibly. The first haymaking cut would be in June and before accurate weather forecasts the farmer would try to work out if there was going to be a dry spell. He might use past records and try tradition of course. But tradition would be a fat lot of good if he said I always started haymaking the second week of June and when the second week of June came all the fields were full of water and mud. Once started the grass would be cut and turned regularly until it was dry and sweet smelling with a hint of golden yellow look. Then it would be fit to go in the barn or the haystack. In recent years the summers have been wet and any farmer fool enough to try the old-fashioned art of haymaking is more than likely to be disappointed. Every time the hay gets rained on it has to be turned and fluffed up to dry out, often only to be rained on again and the grass begins to look more blackish than brown. If it gets too wet many times the hay goes straight to the dung heap rather than to the barn. No wonder big bale silage has become so popular.